winter of 1778 was spent at Valley Forge. Now, in order to defeat a European army, you need discipline and training, which Baron von Steuben stepped in to take that role. Now, with the help of Nathaniel Green and Alexander Hamilton, von Steuben was able to transform our army into the well-disciplined force we still have today. So, while we were whipping the army into shape, Silas Dean, Arthur Lee, and Benjamin Franklin were over in France trying to assemble a Franco-American alliance. So, France was in the war with us along with their money, guns, ammunition, and powder, and that beautiful navy of theirs. Now, back in Philadelphia, William Howe asked to be relieved. Uh, he was blamed for uh, Burgoyne's surrender, and, you know, rightfully so. Now, meanwhile, Henry Clinton, no relation to Bill. Who? Well, he was our president. I was our president. Yeah, but in the future. That's what I'm talking about. Anyway, okay, so uh, Henry Clinton was now the new commanding general. Well, after France entered the war, he was ordered to transfer 5,000 of his men to the Caribbean and 3,000 to Florida. Well, with his forces depleted like that, he decided that he wanted to abandon Philadelphia and consolidate his forces in New York City. Took him, uh, what, by June 18th, he successfully evacuated, evacuated Philadelphia. Get out. So he marched 10,000 of his men, plus 3,000 of the traitorous loyalists. Take them. And within 10 days, we intercepted them in Monmouth, New Jersey. That's right. So the Battle of Monmouth was the opportunity we needed to see how well von Steuben had trained this army. So General Charles Lee, who along with his pajamas, was released by the British, he initiated the attack. But, predictably, he failed. So I rallied the troops and we fought them all day long in the summer heat. Now, we did not defeat them, but they did not defeat us. We fought toe to toe until nightfall. The British finally realized that they were fighting a well-disciplined force that could hold their own. Now we hoped to fight them the next day, but the British fled to New York that very night. The British had to change their strategy. I think they realized that they could not defeat us with one decisive victory, at least not in the north anyways, which is why they decided to start looking south, where they captured Savannah, Georgia. Well, there were more campaigns in the south two years later. consolidate his forces in New Jersey. I'm sorry, in New York. Yeah, New York you're sorry, I'm sorry. Okay. But you're sorry, no good. And With you this... always will be, Joseph. <laughs> consolidate New York. So, what happened, Joseph? Tell us. Will you shut up? <laughs> it's okay. okay. All right. Take right. my hand. Okay. We're in this together. That's right. You know, they're uh, fighting a uh, well-oiled well machine, you son of a...